scenario of getting somebody or something or a group up this sales grading is really, really important that you think about that. You just don't meet somebody and then ask them if they want to be a part of the community in Renatus. It's too quick. They're not up the gradient. You got to work them a little bit more. So what I would suggest to you is you make people hungry. If you're selling hamburgers and you're full, you could have the best hamburger on the planet. No one's going to buy it. But if you, in your sales process, could make people feel like they're starving, like they haven't had food for days, weeks, and you introduce a hamburger to them, they're going to be all over it, no matter what the quality is. Now, fortunate enough with Renatus, we have great quality education and a, and a fantastic uh, instructor crew, some better than others. <laughs> Make your people hungry and you'll sell more hamburgers. Don't talk so much about the features and benefits. Can't really eat those. But if I can make somebody hungry, I can sell them all kinds of hamburgers. Matter of fact, my hamburger doesn't need to be that good. The good news is what we sell here for hamburgers is really, really good. So I invite you to look at this slide. When I think about my process in sales, when I'm sitting in front of somebody, be it a, 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 a real estate investor, being a, uh, a banker to get the money, a uh, private equity fund, insurance companies, I look at this. And I look at a few things. You only get a few, uh, several sales opportunities to come through. However your funnel works, they're going to come through that funnel and it's your job to raise and drive that desire. That's what you're going to want to do if you're going to make this happen. Drive that desire so that they're hungry. If you desire, uh, drive that desire in the fact and you point out that they're hungry, they're going to be all over your hamburgers, if you will. The thing I want you to look at here is this gradient. So if you're introducing someone to Renatus, you're going to talk to them primarily about these few things here. So if you could put that, that slide back on the big screens, that would be great. You're going to look at these few things. On the bottom, do you want a better life? That's an easy question. How many people here want a better life by show of hands? Yeah, that's an easy question. That doesn't take a lot of skill. Everybody wants a better life. But what we call in the sales process, that's a reflective question. What's a reflective question? A question where I know I'm going to get a yes. I know for a fact I'm going to get a yes. See, I use these different types of questions in my process. Open-ended questions, descriptions, uh, where I, I hear the story and I can build the why. I can build what their issue is or what it could be or what it's going to be. Closed-ended questions where I control it. I either want a yes or a no, a one or a two, a red or a blue. And then... The next question I might ask, do you want a real estate investment? A lot of people do. Well, why? Well, I just want to make money. I love the guy that came on stage <laughs> and he's talking about how many deals he did and he's like, I bought a Lamborghini, I bought a Porsche, I bought all this stuff. That was awesome, by the way, whoever that was. Kudos to you. As we go up this, this ladder of questions, the skill set becomes more difficult. The top question Sorry, the second to the top. Do you want help with implementation? You see, when I see Renatus in the 12 years that I've been a part of this family and this community, we talk about ourselves as real estate education, real estate information. And by the way, this is the part where I'm going to share with you. And then I went, when I was having lunch with Bob late summer, when he came to Chicago... Uh, he stole this from me. So if this sounds familiar, the guy that was running around stage with the little camera going around, he stole this from me. <laughs> Renatus is not an education company. Oh. 
Renatus is not an information company. What Renatus is, is an implementation company. In, go. You see, the reason implementation is important is because we're surrounded by information today. We're surrounded by education today. Go to YouTube, go to Google. Some things aren't Googleable, though. I remember Jordan, she's 30 now, but man, the first time she told me, Dad, why don't you just go Google it? I thought she was saying something derogatory to me. <laughs> You're not going to talk to me like that. Get to your room. But some things you don't want to Google. If you want to know how to um, make uh, toast, you could Google that. You could YouTube that. If you want to boil an egg, YouTube that. Google that. But if you're trying to learn how to do brain surgery on a relative, Google or no Google? No Google. Why? It's too important. It's too important. Your real estate uh, uh, journey, your implementation Google or no Google? No Google. Why? It's too important. If you're hungry enough and you want to feed your family for decades or centuries, you're not going to go to that. You want to go to an implementation company. That's why doctors spend those years in medical school and get that information and get that education. But then where do they go? Next, residency school. So they learn implementation of that. That's why this theme of this event, this is the way, step by step by step. Implementation, not education, not information, certainly not features and benefits. Make them hungry for what you got. You got the best implementation community in the world.